Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Quest system, the Quest system Lua for T-Shock 4.0. Um, the first thing you want to make sure you do is that you have T-Shock on your computer. You've already unpacked it. You've ran the server for the first time. And you've also made yourself a super admin login account. If you don't know how to do that, I have a video, a few videos on how to do that. So what we want to do is take the quest system RER, drop it into your T-Shock folder, right click, extract it here, and then go ahead and take the quest system RER out of this folder. So first thing we want to do is go into quests, quest system Lua, and all these .dll files, I want you to select them all and then cut go back to your T-Shock main folder and I want you to paste them out here go back into quests and then go back into the server plugins folder cut these two last DLLs remember these are in the server plugins go back out to your T-Shock main folder go into the T-Shock server plugins folder and that's where you're going to put these two. Since the quest system now is empty, quest system low, we can go ahead and delete it. Okay, now we're ready to run Terraria server.exe. And if you scroll up here to the top, you see that the quest plugin has been initiated successfully. So I'll just go ahead and close it for now. Um, but you do want to make sure you run this because it creates this quests folder. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to write our first quest. It's just going to be a simple quest. But before we get into the quests, we're going to go to uh, go into your start menu and do a Windows search for folder options. And inside folder options, you're going to go to view. About halfway down the list, you're going to see hide extensions for known file types. Make sure that is unchecked. Then hit OK. And go into your quest folder. And now we're ready to make your first quest. So the first quest, and it's easiest to name the file whatever the quest is going to be named. It just makes it easier um, when you have a whole lot of quests inside your folder. So what I want you to do is right click and create new text document, not rich text document, just a text document. I want you to do control A to select the entire text line. And I'm going to name this one mine.cfg for a config file and then hit enter. It's going to give you a warning saying that it might not uh, be usable. Yes, we want to do that. And then do that one more time another text document and we're going to name it the same thing only sorry same thing only we're going to do a dot lua hit yes again when it gives us the warning okay so I'm going to right click the CFG one the config file I'm using a notepad plus plus but you can use notepad and what we're going to do, I'm going to close this one. I'm going to close all these other ones. Okay, so edit with Notepad. This is what we're going to actually copy. Sorry, this is the Lua. Okay, here it is. So, we're gonna. This is the one we're gonna be using. So, what you wanna do is uh, write this exactly how I have it. All the capitalization does matter. The colon, no space. Okay, so the name is gonna be the name of your quest. 
the max attempts obviously is how many times this person whoever decides or whoever you let do it how many times they can do it minimum quest needed means how many quests do I need to have already completed before I can do this I'm gonna do zero uh, because this is my first quest and I'll just want to point out max attempts zero is actually infinite and minimum quests uh, zero because it's the first one and the amount of players at a time of course is how many players at a time can do this quest so go ahead and save that and I'm gonna minimize this and now we're gonna edit the mine.lua file so go ahead and right click edit with notepad and I'm just copying from this one and so when you write your script um, I have it started off uh, with a private message to the player because when they start the quest they're gonna need to be told exactly what to be you know what to do next so uh, I wrote a private message collect six iron ore uh, in quotation marks comma space capital P in player because the player variable will um, send the message to whatever player um, is doing the quest and you want to make sure that you add a color capital C color dot and then the color and then make sure you end every line with a semicolon so private message next thing you're gonna do is repeat until now I'm gonna go and log into Terraria so I can show you what exactly we're putting in here on repeat until okay I mean I will after I start the world okay so just go ahead and log in with your super admin account so for starting right here um, when we start the quest we're gonna get the message down here and this is going to be a mining quest where we're going to collect iron ore so I have this nice little mining area for the quest to start and at the top we're going to go ahead and do our command which is get cords so it's 2118 and the Y coordinate is 291 so if you look over here okay 291 so basically it, um, the the Lua code will not continue on until this has been satisfied so at this X coordinate and at this Y coordinate the player uh, has uh, will activate this and satisfy it as true before it moves on to the to the next line. And I want to point out that this four that I put in is actually a radius, so that they don't have to be on this exact spot. We have we give them a little bit of uh, leeway, so they can be up to four spaces uh, radius around uh, this space in order for it to satisfy it as true. So at at that point. Um, they're going to get a uh, basically Lou is going to tell them to go collect item iron ore make sure that you surround it in quotation marks and you type out the item don't use the item ID this will prevent errors and then the next uh, the next spot you're going to put the amount of iron ore that they're going to collect and then of course the player which is who it's going to apply to and so until this is satisfied it will not move on to the next line so once they collect their iron ore which I conveniently placed down here for them to get it'll move on to this next line 
and it'll give them a message saying we have the iron ore return home make sure you add the player and the color okay and then it'll repeat until this point so I'm down here I collected my iron ore and now I come back up and those coordinates you're gonna do get chords again and I, I have it to be about right here um, at th this point okay we're with this radius we're gonna move on to this next line it's gonna say uh, the next line we add in is take item now this right here is the quest that I'm on which of course is called mine remember in our config file we named it mine um, so this is the quest that it's, it's uh, referring to. This is the item it's going to take, because remember it's a take item command, um, and this is the amount of the items, of this item that it's going to take, and this of course is who it applies to. So they'll, they'll get a nice little message that says to drop the iron ore. Okay, so once they do that, then they'll get this private message that says quest complete. Okay, so pretty simple. Now I want to show you how to apply this quest to your game. So we're going to save it. So now we have our config file and our Lua file both saved. So what we're going to do is reload quest data. And what that does is it reloads um, it reloads all, all your quest files that are in this quest folder. Okay. So now we're going to do uh, we're going to set up the quest region. So they have to be in this region before they can get uh, the quest that we just set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit that corner and it's going to end all the way over here with the region set to. Okay, so now this entire area is what we're defining big rectangle and we're going to define it as a quest r define and I'm just going to call it the pub okay so now we have a quest region called the pub and notice how I got a message because I'm in the pub and when I leave it tells me I left it tells me I came back in I'm gonna sh I can show you how to change that a little bit later but for now this is the default message so now what we have to do is we have to add a quest into this quest region. So what we do is quest r add and the quest we're going to be adding of course is mine with a capital M. Sorry, we'll try that one more time. Quest r add region name, sorry, pub on the quest name mine okay so now if we do list quests we can see that the available quest in this area is mine so we're gonna go ahead and test that so we're gonna do star quest quest name is mine it says collect six iron ore okay So I left the pub, come down here, and I hope I have six here, otherwise I'm going to have to cheat. One, two, three, four. Sorry, I am a cheater, I know. Okay, I have 99, so obviously I have enough because all I needed was six. So it says that we have the iron ore return home. So let's go back. Now we're in here. It says, please drop six iron ores. The excess will be returned. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop these out here. It gives me 93 back and tells me the quest is complete. Um, I, I didn't actually add um, another line. 
but you can actually add another line to your quest so that they're rewarded. Um, I'm, I'm not going to add... So I told you guys I was going to show you how to change the enter and exit uh, the pub. So what you need to do is open Firefox. I've showed you guys videos on how to edit the SQLite file. So we're just going to go to SQLite Manager and we're going to open up and make sure we're opening the right one which is the T-Shock one okay so you're going to open up your database file and right here it says quest regions okay you're going to click it click edit and right here entry message exit message so I'm going to have a Um, have it say something like the barkeep or okay the barkeep is gonna say welcome and then when I leave barkeep is gonna say Have a good day. So then we're gonna hit OK, save that. Okay, and then we're gonna cancel out of here, and we'll see if it saved it in real time. And we'll do reload quest data is actually supposed to update your config file to, or reload it if you made any changes. There it is, see? Barkeep, welcome. Barkeep, have a good day. So it makes uh, makes your world a little bit more, I don't know, interactive, believable. Um, if you want to allow other people to do quests, you're going to need to give them the permission to use quests. Um, I'm going to give you guys uh, a link to all these commands, some of these basic commands and all the permissions you're going to need. But anyway, if you guys have any questions, uh, just let me know.